study is uh, actually unique uh, and we uh, explain a uh, unique way of uh, patient care in liver transplant patients. Uh, our program started in 1998. Early on we recognized that some patients are uh, well enough even though they need a liver transplant and uh, they don't need to go to the intensive care unit. In the rest of the world, in any other transplant program, to the best of my knowledge, liver transplant patients go to the intensive care unit after liver transplantation. Uh, after uh, we realized that some patients are healthy enough, we decided to uh, change the way we treat these patients and uh, we identified a subgroup of patients who can bypass the intensive care unit altogether. So these patients after the liver transplantation, just like any other surgical patient, they go to the recovery room they recover from the anesthesia, they are uh, liberated from the ventilator, and then uh, they go to a normal uh, surgical ward. Uh, this finding is actually a, a two-piece uh, uh, study. And the first piece, which uh, was published uh, uh, approximately two years ago, we looked at our results, and uh, we identified uh, certain groups of patients. And uh, when we looked at the data, approximately 55% of our patients, we were able to bypass the ICU altogether. In the second study, we decided to look at some objective criteria, how we can move forward and identify these patients objectively at the time of transplant. Previously, uh, this decision whether to send the patient to the uh, intensive care unit or what we call a fast track, bypassing the ICU, was essentially up to the uh, attending surgeon of the case and the anesthesiologist of the case. It was more of a subjective uh, decision. With the second study, our aim was to find an objective way of doing that so perhaps other programs who are interested in this kind of uh, patient care can use these criteria so their patients can also benefit from this approach. Bypassing the intensive care unit, you're essentially not exposing your patients to the intensive care unit environment uh, with the resistant uh, uh, bugs, uh, with prevention, uh, avoiding the uh, uh, ventilator, uh, staying on the ventilator. And also intensive care unit is very costly. Every time you step into the intensive care unit that you spend a lot of resources, not just for your patients, also there's a halo effect for the other services that uses the intensive care unit. So this has very strong implications of uh, uh, resource utilization.